Hello world and welcome back. I'm Kari the Great Bear of the North and this is Planet Zoo. As you can see, I have done a little bit of work on this central building. And um, yeah, I've added some lights, I've added some planters, I've added quite a bit of foliage. I've got some sunroofs in the top of here. Um, completed the towers, added some brickwork, added some windows. That's a lit. Lots of, 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 of little things. Oh, also, I realized in a photo that I'd taken that this thing was not centered. There we go. I wonder if the other one is centered, too. Um, yeah, this one is centered. Cool. Um, we've got some doors in, held open by, you know, propped open by rocks. Which is a very Canadian thing to do. We've also added um, a second floor up here in the mental in, in, in the mental in the middle hallway, uh, just for the researchers and things like this uh, staff room. We're gonna build a restaurant in here. We're going to we've got some power and stuff out here. Even though, ironically enough, if you see the the front of this area, oh, the front is actually covered by power. Sweet. So we're gonna need to, uh, another like utility shed somewhere around here in order to do everything. So that's where we're at right now with the central hallway. And I, for one, like it. I, for one, like it. We still have a lot of terraforming to do. So let's just get into today's project. We are going to be building a lemur habitat right in here. Right in here. Well, right in here and also out here because it's gonna be like an indoor outdoor kind of a thing. So, Let's get to it. Time lapse.
All right. Before I get too much further into this, let's just see what's going on. So, guests will walk in. Whoops. Still getting used to the camera controls. Guests will walk into one of these through one of these doors. There'll be the restaurant right in front of them. Off to the right, there'll be, I don't know, maybe koalas or something like that. Up there, there's the staff room, right? Um, and then down here will be the entrance to the lemur exhibit. If people don't want to do the walkthrough, they can just walk here and they can see the different kinds of lemurs all doing their climbing and happy dances and everything like this. Um, we've got the education stands right there. We're gonna have a Probably not a staff talk, because then we've got, you know, um, the issue about the throwing food through the glass, which I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Um, but anyways, if they do want to do the enclosure, there's, um, they have to go through this, like, airlock kind of thing just to make sure that the lemurs don't escape. So they got to go through these glass doors, walk down this little hallway. Oh, I need to put some glass in there. That reminds me. That reminds me this ends up getting rotated down this way and slid on over here and that way. And this just, the only reason I'm adding this window is just to make this hallway feel a lot less claustrophobic. And they go through these gates and then they can walk through the lovely habitat with all the lemurs. There will be terraforming in here, but that's gonna be in the second bit of the time lapse. And then they go outside into this nice, lovely, Basically, my idea is that this is a, no, first of all, there's, yeah. okay, that's bothering me. What's, what's, what's that? What is this? What is, what is this? Um, okay. Let us move you. Because that's not. I don't, I don't like that. There we go, now it doesn't show up. But basically this was like an old estate building or something like this. Um, and don't worry about the stuff in the back. I have plans to, to cover those up. Um, this was a, this used to be like a, a large estate or it might've been, I don't know, maybe a private school or something like this. Um, and it was a heritage declaration, this building. So the government of Ontario, the government of Toronto couldn't tear down the facade, but they could rework things and they may have been able to, to add um, annexes to it and things like this. So let me, let me just change the barrier there. No, 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 I want to edit the barrier. Um, and then so basically what they were able to do is they were able to add these, these extra cages in the in-betweens in order to create an indoor outdoor habitat because lemurs are tropical creatures right so in the canadian summer they might love this all this lush foliage this is where a lot of the foliage is going to be but in the canadian winters they definitely do not want to be outside so then they can be in this lovely um in this lovely area out here so that's basically how that works but let's purchase some lemurs because we've actually got we have spent a lot of money on um on this. We spent probably $35,000 on this building. So we only want cash listings. And there's no... Okay. So let's go cash listings only. And let's do either the red rough lemur or the ring tail lemur. Okay, we can get one each of the ring-tailed lemurs. There we go. Uh, fertility is fairly high, so they will be okay. It's the red ruffed lemurs that, you know, let's see if we can't get a red ruffed lemur. For, I mean, we do have 436, and these guys are endangered, so if we're able to breed them, and then... Okay, we might be able to get some. I mean, this is an old female, so we might be able to get one, a single child out of her. But 2.9 years, okay. We can definitely adopt Hanitra from 
an unknown character zoo. That's fine. And now we need a male, preferably with 83% fertility. At 3.4 years. Yes, let's do it. Good. Okay, good. We have our lemurs. Um, and hopefully we can start breeding things through here. But we're not going to do that yet. We're not going to do that yet because they don't have any of their habitat. But in case you're wondering how large this habitat is, it doesn't seem very big because of the scale of everything. But they have 2,024 square meters of space. So this is plenty. Uh, I do need to add in the rest of this this wall no idea what i'm going to do with this this top part how i'm going to connect that in um i might have to eliminate a little bit of this skylight in order to have this glass wall go all the way up that's fine and then we're going to add some heaters in here and it's going to be lovely but that's going to be in the next time lapse which is right now so you guys are very very lucky
right, ladies and gentlemen, how about that? Yeah, we are not completely done. Like, I'm just noticing that this gate actually opens up into... Okay, and people are just crossing right through these. Okay, so I need to change some of the path in here. But this is the first go about of our little... Of our, of our lemur habitat. So, we've also got... People keep clipping through walls. Okay, I need to fix that. Anyways, we've got a little bit of a temporary restaurant here. Many guests think our tickets are underpriced. Yes. So we're looking at this way, and we've got a bright, beautiful sunrise. It's 6.41 in the morning. And anyways, guests go through here to see the lemurs. And they walk in, and they are greeted with this lush foliage. Still need a little bit of work. I think I'm going to take some temperate plants just to add a little bit of color, maybe some blues, some some whites, those kinds of things. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this greenhouse effect. Uh, the lemurs can go into here. This is like their little bedding area. This is one-way glass so that if the lemurs are sleeping here, they don't know that they're being watched. They can traverse through that hole down there and this hole up here. And I'm still trying to figure it a way for them to get up here because I want to get more plants up here. Um, and then guests can go one of two routes. They can either go around this way. Oh, that bush is definitely in the way. Okay, we have high amounts of litter. Yeah, we'll hire more people and get more um, cleaners and bins and whatever. And looks like the guests are playing with the box. Okay. Or is there a lemur that's playing with the box? What are they staring at? What are they staring at? Oh, there's a lemur right down there. Right down there. And then so they go through here. And there's just this maze of, of ways that the lemurs can climb face down, both attached to the walls and freestanding. And then just keep going through here. There's a ring-tailed lemur. How's this guy doing? Can we, oh, hello. This is Masuandro. And these lemurs are doing pretty well. I mean, yeah, we can improve their meal quality. Yes, we can improve a little bit of enrichment, but we've only just started researching them. So, in fact, we haven't even started the ring-tailed lemur. There we go. And then we can go through. There's more climbing apparatuses up there. There's even one all the way up there so that if it's cold and the lemurs want to just, like, sit and stare into the sun, they can do that. Um, yeah, definitely high amounts of litter. We need to take care of that. But the, the lemurs can climb on all of these, and they do. And then you can go into the outdoor area, which is a lot more humid. It's a lot more tropical. And this is this time of year. We've got more foliage. We've got more grass. We've got water. A little bit of a waterfall just to give the lemurs something to drink. It just occurs to me, I forgot to give them a food platform. That's okay. And then this is uh, this is the walkway through here. See? See, I told you. And then I'll climb down. They absolutely love this. This is, they have 1,780 meters, square meters of space. And they also have 463 meters of climbing space. This is 10 times the climbing space that they need. So I'm hoping we're gonna get some babies. And then you can walk up through here and then go on into here. But because this path around here is a little bit rough and you gotta dodge trees and whatever, there is another path out for those that might not be as, um, as nimble as the rest. So this is our lemur habitat. We've got the trees down there. We've got the trees in here, greenhouse. And in case you're wondering if we can do this kind of thing in a greenhouse with trees this big, there is a place called the Biodome in Montreal, which was used as the velodrome in the 1976 Olympics, I want to say. And, um, and it's now um, an indoor Biodome. It's now an indoor zoo and their first section is tropical and it is super humid and they grow all of these plants and it's just an absolutely amazing, amazing thing. But I need... Oh! What do we have research for? We've researched for the red ruffed lemur. Wonderful. Wonderful. But before we do this, let's get another couple of caretakers and I will assign the caretakers to this path. Um off camera but and i don't know if you guys can hear this i don't know what the sound quality is for you guys 
but because it's so cavernous and because it has the copper roofs it actually changes the audio quality of some of these things which is great and it's the guests that are just kicking the bucket kicking the the the, the box all over it's not even the lemurs and we've got two different whoa where did those people just randomly come from okay this is a little bit crowded i'm thinking people like the lemurs though um what are they listening to talk no they're just staring at the lemurs they're just chilling they're just loving this um look at all these people that are just coming in for just for the lemurs wow i'm appreciating this so yeah, we've got our, our lemur habitat, ladies and gentlemen, and I am very, very pleased with this. There are some things I need to do. Still need to make sure that people don't walk through the wall. I want to get more foliage up here. I want to get more education things in here, because right now this is looking a little bit barren, but I wanted to focus on the inside. Um, I'm really pleased with how this part turned out. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, facilities, I think it is. Webcam. Habitat web camera. Yeah, we're going to put that there. And that way, lemur indoor outdoor, enter camera view. Yeah, that way people can watch, like, from home and whatnot. This is cool. This is cool. So, hopefully we'll get a whole gaggle of lemurs. Okay, I know a group of lemurs is called a troop. In fact, my my um, my improv troop is called the Screaming Lemurs, which we named after these guys. Um, Fertility, 83. Yeah, let's get this. Let's adopt you. And then let's immediately send you to the zoo. There we go. Just because we want we want baby animals. Um, high amounts of litter. Yeah, we're dealing with that. We are dealing with that. But overall, I very much like how this worked. I very much. <sighs> I'm pleased with myself. I know I probably shouldn't say that because that's like arrogant or whatever. But I'm I'm pleased. Oh no. I'm a little bit less pleased. With the uh, with that, but other than that, this this walkthrough habitat, it's a little bit crowded, actually. Like, I would I I I'm okay. I have a little bit of, of of social anxiety, and I don't like crowds, especially people that I don't know. And this this right here is um, I'm kind of stressed out just watching this. Uh. But yeah, this is our exceedingly popular habitat. And we've even um, glass doors that in the winter, these would be closed. And each of these holes would be closed as well. Oh, we also have a little like little lemur hidey passageway through here in case they're wanting to get rid of all the crowds. Oh, I know why nobody's going through here because this exit isn't actually attached to, to anything. So let's... Okay, it's probably something I should have thought about earlier, but otherwise everybody's just going to be trapped in the lemur habitat. They're just going to have to walk in and then walk out, and that is not something I want to happen. Oops. All right. A new animal. Oh yeah, my ring-tailed lemur. Like, when did I get that? But I just did. And then people are just going to walk all the way around here, but there will be, of course, other exhibits to enjoy from there. And there's this one guy... Who's this? Who's this? I love the mustache. This is Antoine Amador, just staring at the reindeer all the way through there. Oh, speaking of, not not of reindeer, but of looking at previous animals. Um, we, while I was building, we got a little baby brown bear, little baby grizzly. Well, look at this cute little guy, Embe. Juvenile, 2.9 years old. So we've actually had him for a while. But, um, anyways, here is the zoo. I need a name for this building. We need a name for this building. One side, it's the lemurs. This side is the lemurs. This side is probably going to be koalas or something like that. Those are going to be, like, the only tropical animals in our zoo. Okay, I need to... 
I need to fix these things. This is going to be the only tropical animals in our zoo. Not that the koalas are tropical, but non-temperate, non-Canadian. Many Canadian, many guests think that this is underpriced. Let's go 15 and $10. There we go. Making a lot of money. We're going to get conservation rating up. We're going to get this rating up. And we are still making plenty of money. Like, we spent, like, 50000 just on this building and the lemurs and everything. But I'm very much, very much enjoying how this is working out and i hope you guys are too i'm karhu the great bear of the north thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please like please subscribe please comment seriously do these things it will help the algorithm it will help give me more motivation to put this kind of effort into things like this um but most importantly i do hope you guys have a wonderful day and next week or next episode i think we're going to finish the rest of this lobby and we're going to work on a restaurant and maybe maybe a fountain in the middle maybe a fountain in the middle and i think we're going to do that without any kind of a time lapse next week time lapse next week that's the plan so yeah thank you very much for watching have a wonderful day everybody bye